This is more video taped earlier being downlinked by flight engineer Greg Shamatov of he and Commander Mike Fink and the front of the view here working on the SPHERES experiment. That's an acronym for Synchronized Position Hold Engage Reorient Experimental Satellites. And the satellites in question are the small blue and crimson balls that Fink is holding. They're each about eight inches across and weigh about eight pounds and have their own self-contained power propulsion computers and navigation equipment that allows them to fly inside the cabins, the station's cabin in different flight formations. By doing so, scientists are able to test theories and calculations on coordinating the movement of multiple things maneuvering together in the microgravity of space. Bink seems to be using just two of the satellites in this experiment, but there are actually three that can be used. Shamatov has done a lot of work on this experiment while he's been at the International Space Station over the past five and a half months. Today was Shamatov's last full day as a, an official member of the station's crew. Tomorrow he'll be technically transferring to the Space Shuttle Endeavour crew as a mission specialist to head back to Earth and in his place. Endeavour will be leaving mission specialist Sandy Magnus to become the next Flight Engineer 2 for Expedition 18. The satellites are powered by AA batteries and communicate with each other using one of the laptops on board the station and a wireless link that allows them to keep track of their positions. They also have five beacons that are set up inside the Destiny Laboratory where this experiment is being performed before the experiment starts. They're able to test things like relative attitude control and station keeping between the satellites as well as collision avoidance and fuel balancing. The results of the experiment are useful for satellite servicing, vehicle assembly, and formation flying spacecraft configurations. They ultimately allow scientists to assemble large structures in space and make autonomous resupply and upgrades possible. Expeditions 13 through 17 have all done experiments for the SPHERES project, as well as Expedition 18, which is the current crew of the station.